Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Britt Brings It Home. For those that are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my little corner on YouTube and coming to check out my video. My name is Britt and I do videos to help you create a healthy and organized home and life. I'm all about reducing the toxins in your home, reducing stress, and living a healthy life all around so that you can feel your best and be there for the ones that you love. All right, well, it's March, it's almost spring. Spring starts on March 20th, and I am so excited. I'm excited for warmer, sunnier weather, and for the flowers and things to start to bloom. I just love this time of year. I always feel like I have more energy and more like motivation in the springtime. I'm getting an earlier start on my deep cleaning this month. If you don't know, I have a deep cleaning schedule for the whole home that you can find on my blog, brittbringsathome.com, and I will link that schedule down below. I divided several home cleaning jobs into the 12 months. That way there's less to worry about in the springtime, so you don't have to worry about doing spring cleaning and getting all your deep cleaning jobs done in the springtime and it takes the guesswork out of knowing what jobs need to be done and how often they need to be done and hopefully will help to reduce some of that stress that I know you busy moms have so this is what I have on the schedule for March clean all the doors in the home and the trim around the doors wash all bedding clean and turn the mattresses and check and replace the batteries in your smoke detector so I'm going to get started and I'll walk you through how I do each of those jobs and what products I use and tips that I have for you so that when you're done watching this video or even while you're watching this video, you can get started doing the same things in your own home. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up down below and also be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so that you can be a part of this community and be notified when I come out with more videos like this one. All right, so let's get to cleaning. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is getting all the bedding off of the beds, all the beds in the house, and getting the laundry started. Since it takes a while, you know, my washing machine and dryer each take about an hour for each load. So since it takes a while, this is gonna be like an all day laundry thing. I am getting started with the laundry first thing. And I'm washing everything. I'm washing the mattress protector, the sheets, the blankets, comforters, pillowcases, and all the pillows. Yes, I do wash the pillows. I wash them twice a year. Your pillows collect dust and sweat and dust mites and other allergens. And your pillowcase does not protect it from collecting all of those things. So of course you should wash your pillowcase every few weeks, but your pillow should also be cleaned a few times a year too. So I will show you how I wash the pillows in a little bit. Once I get everything off of the bed, I sprinkle some baking soda on the mattress. That's what's in that mason jar. And this just helps to remove any odors from the mattress. And I let that baking soda sit on the mattress, eliminate all those odors for several hours, so throughout the day as all that bedding is being washed and dried. So then while that is doing its work, I get started washing the doors. Okay, so to clean the doors, I do the same method that I use to clean the walls and the baseboards. If you saw my February deep cleaning video, that's what I have on the schedule for February. We cleaned the walls and the baseboards and other trim like chair railing and crown molding. And then I also dust to the light fixtures and so to clean the doors I'm doing the same thing. I use my all-purpose cleaner and I spray the door and then wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And I do wet the microfiber cloth a little bit first, get it damp just so it's easier to clean and I don't have to use quite as much spray. And the all-purpose cleaner that I use is Branch Basics. I love this company and their products for several reasons. 
for one thing, it is non-toxic and safe to use in your home without, you know, causing allergies and asthma and hormone imbalance and cancer like a lot of conventional products can do. A lot of cleaning supplies have harmful chemicals in them and fragrances that can cause a lot of health problems. I am in the process of rebalancing my hormones, so I make sure to be careful about the products that I use in my home and on my body because a lot of products have endocrine disrupting chemicals, which are chemicals that mess with your hormones. So when you're looking for an all-purpose cleaner to use in your home, make sure you are not just looking at the front of the bottle to see the claims that they make, like clean or safe. Look at the back of the bottle and look at the ingredients, which sometimes companies do not put the ingredients on the bottle. So you may have to go online and look at their ingredients. So when you're looking for an all purpose cleaner, look at the back of the bottle and look at the ingredients. If it says fragrance, as one of the ingredients, don't get it. That little word fragrance is so loaded. Companies do not have to say what is in their fragrance because it is their proprietary blend. And so they can get away with putting a lot of harmful things in that little fragrance. It can contain phthalates, which are endocrine disruptors. And then also look out for products with ammonia or chlorine, bleach. Those can be very irritating and cause asthma and breathing problems. And just look out for other chemicals. If the bottle has tons and tons of chemicals on it, it's not very likely that it is a safe product to use in your home. So there are a few resources that you can use to quickly find out if the product is safe or not. So you can use the EWG app or the Think Dirty app. On those apps, just search whatever your all-purpose cleaner is. And when it pops up, it'll have a number next to it, a number from zero to 10. And it grades different products, household beauty products, on a scale from zero to 10, with zero being the safest, most non-toxic products, and 10 being the most toxic full of harmful ingredients. So you want to use products that are close to a zero. A zero or a one or a two are good. They are green. Anything that's yellow or red are products that you want to stay away from. And you'll be able to click on it and figure out what ingredients are in it that are harmful and what harm they can cause to you. So I like using Branch Basics because it is very clean. It's plant and mineral based and it tells you what is in it. There's not tons and tons of ingredients in it. All the Branch Basics concentrate has in it is purified water, decal glue, glucoside, which is a plant-derived surfactant, chamomile extract, which has soothing properties for the skin, cocoa glucoside, which is a, another gentle surfactant, which is from corn, coconut, or palm. And surfactants are detergents, that's what cleans. And then it also has sodium citrate, which is salt and helps to soften your water. Sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. It's another water softener. And sodium phytate, which is a natural natural binder that prevents minerals from interfering with the concentrate. So not tons of ingredients, just a few natural ingredients. There's no fragrance listed. It doesn't have any smell, which I love. Cleaning products do not need to have a smell. When they smell, that just goes to show that there are most likely harmful chemicals in there. Clean does not equal a smell. If you want it to smell good, add some essential oils like citrus essential oils to your cleaning solution. Go for that. That's a whole lot safer than buying a product that has fragrance listed on it. Another reason why I like Branch Basics is because it is environmentally friendly. So if you get the starter kit, which by the way, Branch Basics is not like a subscription service or anything like that. If you want to, you can choose to subscribe just like Amazon, you can subscribe to save 10% or you can just do a one-time purchase. And if you do choose to subscribe, you can always change when your shipment of the concentrate comes to you. But if you want, you can get the starter kit, which that's what I got, the premium starter kit, just because that comes with everything that you need to get started. 
<laughs> That's why it's called a starter kit. But it has the concentrate, which is a big bottle, 33.8 ounces. And then it comes with several other bottles that you can use for different cleaning things around your home. So there's a bottle for bathroom cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, streak-free cleaner for cleaning the windows and mirrors laundry cleaner, a foaming hand wash bottle. So all of these different bottles, you fill up most of the way with water and then just put a little bit of concentrate in them and you're ready to go. And it gives you the lines on the bottles to where to fill up with water and where to fill up with concentrate. And then also in the starter kit, you get oxygen boost, which is just two ingredients, just sodium percarbonate and sodium bicarbonate, so different salts. And that is great for stain removal I have used that several times on stains like if I have an oil stain on my shirts I just put some of that oxygen boost on and then spray a little bit of all-purpose cleaner on it and let it soak for a few hours and then put it in the wash and it comes right up and it's also great to adding to your laundry to give it a boost and brighten your whites and your colors it's safe to use on both and you can even use it in your pots and pans if you have like food stuck on a pan that's hard to get off you can sprinkle on some oxygen boost it's a powder and then you can spray it with your all-purpose cleaner and just let it soak there for a few hours and then scrub it off so anyways you get this starter kit with all these things and then all you do whenever you run out of your all-purpose cleaner you just make up a new bottle fill it up with water and a little bit of concentrate again and so this concentrate lasts forever and then whenever you do finally run out all you need to get is the concentrate. You don't need to get all those other spray bottles again. So it is more expensive to get the starter kit, but once you have it, it lasts for a long time. You only have to get the concentrate again, which is more expensive than getting all purpose cleaners, but it lasts a long time. It can fill up a lot of those bottles. So in the long run, you will save money and you will save plastic. You're not buying all kinds of plastic bottles for cleaners to use around your home. And by the way, you don't need a different cleaner for every single thing that you use in your home. This concentrate can be used for cleaning everything in your home. So anyways, I just started using it in December. My sister actually cut it for me for Christmas and I love it. So I'm just spraying that on the door and wiping it down with my microfiber cloth and I'm making sure to get in all the grooves, get the actual door, get the sides of the door and the top of the door, and then clean the frame around the door, both the front and the back, getting in all those grooves, getting all those fingerprints and dirt marks and food marks, all those little things that my crazy little boys leave on the doors. And now it's been several hours. It's the afternoon now. So I am vacuuming up the baking soda off of the beds with my vacuum cleaner hose attachment. And then also not shown here, but I turn the mattresses. So the part that our heads were at is turned and becomes the end where our feet are at. That way you're not like wearing down one side of the mattress too much. For our master bedroom bed, it is a pillow top mattress so we can't flip it over so we just turn it but with our boys mattresses I did flip them over so the bottom becomes the top and then I also turn them so the beds are ready for when the sheets are all cleaned and dry so for the laundry like I said branch basics can be used as laundry detergent however I have not used it for that yet because I already had a laundry detergent that I'm using I currently use Molly Suds laundry detergent and I like it a lot so it is very similar to branch basics in that it does not have a lot of ingredients just five ingredients and they are all safe and non-toxic so it has sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda magnesium sulfate unrefined sea salt and organic peppermint oil in the one that I get I get the peppermint laundry powder and so it gives it a good scent it smells good but it has no harmful fragrance 
at all. It's, it is just natural, organic peppermint oil. It doesn't have any phthalates, formaldehyde, fragrance, dyes, no harmful chemicals there. Dryer sheets and fabric softener can be other products that are filled with harmful ingredients. So I do not use those. Instead, I use white distilled vinegar. I put that in the fabric softener compartment in the washing machine and I use that for natural fabric softener and it doesn't even give it a vinegar scent. My clothes do not smell vinegary at all, but it does help to soften them. And then instead of dryer sheets, I use wool dryer balls. I just throw a few of these balls into the dryer with the clothes and it helps to like fluff them up and get rid of static electricity and reduce dryer time. And I add a few drops of essential oil to them so it gives the clothes a good scent too. And my favorite to use is lavender. Sometimes I use citrus oils also, but I really love lavender. Okay, so the sheets are finally done washing and drying. So I am making the beds now. And obviously I did not get done washing all the bedding before it was Time to go to bed. Got one bed made. Got my five-year-old son's bed made right before bedtime. And then the next morning, I finished the rest of the laundry and made the rest of the beds. So that night, my husband and my oldest son were already planning on camping out anyways. So they camped out and I just slept on my bed without the sheets and just some other blankets. Kind of made a little camp out on the bed. So got all those other blankets put away and was finally able to make my bed. So now I'm finishing the laundry. I'm washing all the pillows. And for the pillows, obviously you don't wanna wash too much at a time and you want it to be evened out, both sides of the washer drum to be even out so that it's able to spin correctly. Normal size pillows, I do two at a time. For our king size bed, we can really only fit one of those in at a time. So I'll do one of those and then I'll do like one throw pillow to take the whole space around the drum up. And then if it's just throw pillows by themselves, I can fit three. And I wash them on high heat, but I turn the speed down to almost low, like in between medium and low. And then I put them over to the dryer once they're clean. And again, I use those wool dryer balls and that also to helps to fluff the pillows up while they're tumbling around in there and keeps the fluffing, you know, even how it's supposed to be. One of the pillows had some trouble in my son Jackson's room, one of his pillows somehow got like all tangled up in there. So I did have to kind of adjust that. <laughs> I was able to adjust that, get that pillow back to how it's supposed to be before I put it in the pillowcase. And then the last thing I have on the schedule for March is to check and replace batteries if needed in your smoke detectors. So my husband went out and bought some nine volt batteries for our smoke detectors, just in case we had any that needed new batteries. So the first one, we knew already that that one was out of batteries, that one was not working. And so I put the new battery in it and attached it to the wall and I pressed that button in the middle to test it and see if it worked and it still was not working. So we found out that that smoke detector is actually out of date and we just need a new smoke detector. And then one up in our bonus room was out of date too. So I don't know how, we have two smoke detectors in our house that were out of date, but all the other ones were fine. They're in date and we checked the batteries and all of those batteries worked just like they're supposed to. So you're supposed to press the button in the middle of it and if it chirps a few times and it makes the other smoke detector detectors in the house also chirp that means it's working and my husband is a firefighter and he recommends that you check your batteries and your smoke detectors twice a year and the easiest way to remember it is whenever it's a time change so in March and November are the best times to check your smoke detectors 
whenever the time changes, always remember to check your smoke detectors. All right, guys, well, that is it for this month's deep cleaning jobs. If you go off and do these same things in your home, I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below if you do these jobs this month and how it goes for you. And you can also tag me on Instagram. I'm at Brit Brings It Home and you can hashtag it with BBIH deep cleaning. And I'd love to see your pictures, any before and after pictures you have. And thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to be a part of my community and so you can catch the next video. I'll see you in the next one guys. From my home to yours. See you later.